What is up and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a first look and first impressions of the Kobe 8 Pro Tro in the Venice Beach colorway. I was finally able to hit on a sneakers Kobe drop and get a pair for retail. And I did hit on the Kobe Pro Tro 8s in the Venice Beach colorway. So that drop actually had three different Kobe's, three different models, three different colorways. Uh, Venice Beach for his time in LA, the Italian camo for his time in Italy, and the Philly colorway for his time in Philadelphia. So I never had a pair of eights myself, but I did get a chance to try my brother's Christmas eights. And the main takeaway I got from that shoe was, man, these are like super light uh, and very simple and minimalistic. Um, so what actually changed between the original Kobe 8 and the Pro Tro? Not a whole lot to be honest, especially in this colorway. So in the halos, they actually beefed up the tongue and made this a little bit thicker. But as you can see, this tongue right here is like almost paper thin. So I don't understand like the discrepancy between uh, the Protro line and like why would the Halos have a beefier tongue and why wouldn't other Kobe 8 Protros also have the beefier tongue? I'm not sure, so if anyone knows, let me know. Uh, and then of course the midsole. Uh, I actually have a different midsole in here because I've already played a whole volleyball tournament in these as libero, um, so I have Serious player only's explosive midsole in here, but I also played in half the tournament in the default React midsole cushioning. So that is one of the other main things that changed between the original line and this line is the cushioning. Um, so initially you had Lunarlon and now we have React. And honestly, the React felt pretty good. I wouldn't say a whole lot of impact protection, um, more on the court field side, but still a little bit more impact protection and cushion than I thought they would offer. Um, since like they kind of don't have as much cushioning when they use React in performance sneakers as they do in running shoes. Um, but not mad with the performance at all. Uh, and the React midsole is actually a little bit thinner than this midsole. So this kind of altered the fit for me a little bit and made the shoe a little bit tighter. But I didn't mind too much because I like wearing my shoes pretty tight when I play anyway. Um, so pretty much everything else is the same. I really like the Kobe shield design they have here and they have a snake that goes around the perimeter. So kind of a nod to the Mamba, of course. Uh, this colorway has a translucent icy blue outsole. So I'm pretty sure this will end up yellowing and won't look that great, but for now they look not bad. And as far as performance of the translucent rubber, uh, it actually performed pretty well. Like I had no issues. I was playing on sport court. Uh, if you know what that is. Um, and okay, of course, I had to occasionally wipe, but I was not sliding at all, and these gripped the floor really well. And I would, again, say that these felt very light on my feet, even though I think they're heavier than the original Kobe 8 line, they're still really light. So I don't think weight should be an issue. Upper, again, mostly uh, engineered mesh uh, like they had on the original. So very lightweight, very minimal, very breathable. Uh, and then again, the tongue, kind of lackluster. It does have holes for ventilation. So I don't think you should feel like your feet are suffocating at all. I didn't have that issue at all. The shoe comes with yellow laces with red dots all throughout. And I'm happy to report that even though the tongue is super thin, I didn't have any like uncomfortable lace pressure happening when I was playing. So at least there's that. Um, and then there is an external heel counter here, which is kind of a teal blue and I feel very locked in. Uh, the ankle area has a lot of cushioning uh, and it feels really good actually around your ankle and your Achilles. The curvature or like how they're shaping this feels really nice. So the fit is actually phenomenal on this pair of shoes. So moving on to the lower part of the upper, we have Fuse right here, which wraps around the toe uh, to the midfoot of the shoe. And also we have some lateral caging here with some foam to help with better containment especially on lateral movements. And it is also coupled with an outrigger here on the outsole. So those two things will really help your shoe and your foot stay contained, especially on those lateral cuts. So definitely appreciate that as we move on to the outsole. Again, translucent outsole rubber performs well. Uh, mostly a herringbone traction pattern, which is tried and true and will have you covered in all directions. And this other part is kind of like an arrow triangle design. Uh, also pretty good performer. Uh, and then we have a carbon fiber midfoot shake plate to help with torsional rigidity, as well as a little bit of forefoot flex, not anything crazy. 
Uh, but yeah, that's kind of like a high level overlook of the shoe. Uh, I've already, like I said, played a whole tournament in this shoe and I do have some wear areas, especially here in the toe on the fuse. So that is already kind of coming off. Um, but other than that, pretty happy with the performance of the shoes, especially if you're a Libero DS or someone who doesn't jump a lot and doesn't need a whole lot of cushion or impact protection. Overall, having played in them one tournament as a Libero, I'm very happy with the performance of the shoes. The fit is awesome. They're very lightweight. The traction is also awesome. Um, the only thing that I say isn't amazing is the cushioning, uh, but I didn't really care that much because I would prefer court feel and responsiveness anyway. Um, so for Libero, these are pretty good. Um, and I would probably recommend them from a performance standpoint for $190. Ah, uh, there's probably better options, but I mean, they're Kobe and they're coveted and this is kind of an iconic colorway. So I'm happy to have them in my possession and I will definitely wear them. Um, so I will get some more wear in them as I play more volleyball. And I think for the most part, it's probably gonna stay pretty true to my first impressions that uh, very lightweight, good traction, good fit. Um, and no complaints. I actually thought I would need to break them in a lot more, but even with the React cushion drop-in midsole, I didn't have any pain whatsoever breaking them in. But I've heard others have had like a painful breaking experience, so it might depend on your foot or I don't know. But I do like this colorway, and there is 3M hits on the like the Kobe symbol on the heel, as well as the Nike swoosh on the lateral side that has 3M. And this might actually, no, I don't think it's 3M, but I love that there's 3M. Overall, very happy with the performance. I'm thankful to finally hit on a Kobe on sneakers and get a pair for retail. And I'm happy that they're Kobe 8s. Uh, we'll see if my luck runs dry for the rest of the year, but at least I got this dub. Um, I will probably go for, you know, every sneakers Kobe drop for the rest of the year, as long as it's not like a Kobe 7 or like a Kobe 11, or it's like some funky colorway, uh, because the sevens really hurt my feet. I rocked those all senior year, and man, those tore up my feet so much. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, uh, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.